So this video is about nature focused books that my kids have used to learn from. We have enjoyed these books and I wanted to give them to you as a quick little list, but make sure to check out the nature study video that I did as well. The Bear Grill series, we have gone through it a couple of times. My oldest son read it to my younger boys this year. This is on all different kinds of topics of uh, terrains and biomes and how to survive in them. It's a really fun series. It's a good read for about the second, third, fourth grade levels. Uh, they are just really engaging and fun for the kids. Swiss Family Robinson is a book that we did on audio. My boys really loved it. Um, I thought it was fine. It was a little less on the like educational side, but really fun for the wanting to get outside and explore factor. So I was really thankful for that. We enjoyed listening to it on audio uh, in the car. And so that might be a good option too. And it's a really good book to follow up with the movie on a rainy Friday night or a hot <laughs> summer day when you need to stay inside. For poetry, check out Sing a Song of Seasons. This is a really great book. Now I didn't go all in and purchase it, but we get it out from our library and it just has really fun little poems, a different poem for each day that involves nature. We also did Hiawatha. Now this was a challenging read for me, but the boys really enjoyed it. It was um, about this Native American man named Hiawatha that has to go out and avenge his father's death. I wouldn't say that all themes are exactly like on with what we teach, but it did create really good conversations and it was really a good way for me to practice reading out loud in a different style than I'm used to and the boys to practice listening. The descriptive words that were in this and was challenging for them, but really healthy for us to practice listening to and also consider the way that we can use uh, words to describe things that are around us. So it was a really challenging read really good also. We have listened to The Wild Robot twice on audio. It is great. You should definitely check it out. It's about a robot that has to learn to assimilate to its new surroundings and to survive and to get along with others and being helpful and accepting others and just a lot of really great themes throughout it. Really good language. Again, descriptive language, great vocabulary, things that we got to talk about. My boys loved it and my oldest son will be continuing to read the series to my younger sons this year. If you want to see what books my fourth grader is going to be reading, I either have that video out or it will be coming out very soon. The Sign of the Beaver. This is a book about a boy and his father in Maine, I believe. And like back in the day when they are settling new territories and the boy and his father start building a cabin, then the father goes back to get mom and sisters. But the boy is there and has to survive on his own for an extended amount of time, more than he really anticipated. And he makes friends with the local Native Americans who also teach him how to survive in the wild. And so for little boys again this is an adventure this is something that really challenges you to maybe want to be outside same with lost on a mountain in Maine this is about a boy who gets lost on the mountain because he's being careless and he survives for like a long time and but it's rough and it, it's rough really rough but my boys really enjoyed the adventure of it. Is he gonna make it? What's gonna happen next? Where is he sleeping? How is he eating? What path should he take? And which one is not the wise choice to make? We had a lot of conversations about that too. Um, I'm glad I didn't read Lost in a Mountain in Maine. I think it was a really good one to listen to on audio also, uh, because I think I would have felt like it was like drawing out a little bit, but I'm so glad that we did it. So really good option. Man, I am just full of the challenging reads. This summer, I guess we really took on some of those, but two challenging reads that I think are worth the challenge are Paddle to the Sea and Men of the Mississippi. Now these are largely focused on geography too. So like Paddle to the Sea is about this little wooden boat uh, canoe man that 
goes across the Great Lakes. And it talks about when he's in Duluth, the iron that is there that stains his boat. And then when he almost gets put through a wood chipper, um, when he gets to kind of like a logging area and just the different places that he passes by, the different animals he passes by on the way. And then you can follow his journey out. Same with Men of the Mississippi. It starts in Minnesota and goes down the Mississippi and talks about this turtle's journey along the way. There is so much science in here talking about turtles. I have learned so much. There are words that I didn't know and it was challenging, but my boys really liked it. So we pushed on and you get a lot of that geography included as well. But then there's these two fun reads, Gone Camping and Gone Fishing. These are uh, novels in verse, so they are Po poetry, different styles of poetry. And at the top of each page, it tells you what style of a poem it is. It's about this brother and sister. One in one book, they obviously go camping and in one they go fishing and they just talk about what's going on. Um, they have funny little things that they say or do and they talk about them throughout this. I think they're so fun. I sit down and read them out in a one go. But then in the back of the book, it also explains what those different styles of poetry are. So you could really use this then in, okay, now we're all going to write a haiku. Now we are all going to write a limerick. And it's explained in there. This is a really fun way to cover poetry, but then to also cover uh, a lot of just a fun outdoors themes. So we enjoyed that as well. All right, that is what I have for you for this video. Check out some of the other ones that I mentioned by clicking on one of these two, and I will see you soon.